It's that time again. I have a lot of things to show you that I have thrifted in the last week, so stay tuned. Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another thrift haul and I have a lot of things that I wanna share with you. I have thrifted from thrift stores, from the storage unit that I've mentioned before, as well as my neighborhood. So I'm gonna just get into it and dive in and show you what all I got. Got a lot of baskets this time, so I'll just start with that. This is the first basket I got. And I think this is one that I got from the storage unit and he just did like a bulk. In fact, I may just show you what all I got from his place because he did a bulk purchase of $14. So I got this basket. I also got this bag of like doily kind of crocheted pieces, just a whole bag of different crocheted pieces. So I figured that would be good for making bows for projects. So got that. I got this really pretty brass planter and it's a wall hanging planter. And this is what it looks like. I just think this is really pretty. So I'm just gonna clean it up. I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm not gonna like polish it because I like the patina on this. I also got this really shiny brass piece and it's really pretty it's got the grapes on the side but this would be great for someone that wants to have a centerpiece with some florals some you know wildflowers or if you have a blanket you want to display or if you just want to display some books this would be a great piece i also got this really pretty basket i love the shape of it it's kind of deep and it's in really good condition so i I'm gonna add this to my basket collection. I also got this candle snuff, and this is really pretty because it is actually a wood handle and then the metal snuffer portion. So I thought this was really pretty, really unique. I got this jar of spools, and there were several wooden ones in there so someone had tried to sell this previously and they had $14.99 on it. But there's several, several uh, spools in here that have the wooden base. There's only, I think, three that are not wooden spools, so. And finally, the last thing from the storage unit is this crocheted blanket this thing is huge I don't even know after after I'm done with the video I'll measure it and put it on the screen but this thing is huge let me back up and show you this probably went on a full-size bed I'm looking at it now because it like all this that you see double it this thing is huge. This is worth the $14 on its own. That is everything that I got from that storage unit. And now the rest of the things that I got came from either Goodwill, Salvation Army, or St. Vincent de Paul. So I'm gonna dive into that. I have a friend that was looking for these, looking for a set of these, and I happened to find them at Goodwill for $5. So I picked that up for her. I got this at an estate sale. I forgot to mention the estate sale. Now I looked this up, this style. So I don't know if it's an authentic, it's called EK, EK Bana or something like that, basket. And they're kind of pricey. I don't know if this is an actual authentic one, but it's a really good replica if it's not. But anyway, I got this for $2 at the estate sale. I have two more baskets. I got this from Goodwill for $2. I love the shape of it. It was probably a planter because it has the plastic in it. I'm just gonna take that out. And then I got this basket. This came from St. Vincent de Paul. 
and it's marked 320 but I got it for 25% off so whatever that is um, I just thought this was really pretty I got this basket from Salvation Army and I paid a dollar fifty for it this says 299 but I got it on wacky Wednesday so I paid a dollar fifty for it I love the fact that this is one that you can hang up on a wall this would be great for you know storage It'll be great for if you want to put greenery in it and hang it up. I just think this would be really pretty. Then I got this basket. It has little snowmen on it. And I got it from St. Vincent, de, no, from Salvation Army. And it was on Wacky Wednesday, so I paid $1.50 for it. Pretty good. This is something I got from the neighborhood. I've mentioned it probably in every video I've done how my neighbors they just you know they declutter their house and they just put stuff on their front porch and say free for the taking so I go and I take advantage of that so this is one of those things I will probably have to sand and repaint the bottom part of this because it's pretty scratched up it's not just distressed it's kind of scratched up and I may even put some kind of transfer on it so i just think that's really pretty then the other piece i took it to my booth before i did the video so i'll show you a clip of what this is it is a bird cage and this is really pretty again this was from somebody in the neighborhood and they're just giving it away so i um, have it for sale in my booth I found this really sweet little crochet blanket. It was $1.50 and then I got 25% off. But this is just a smaller little blanket, perfect for the little baby boy. But And it's in really good shape. I don't see anything wrong with it. So that will go in my booth. I got this really pretty bird. I'm gonna make him over just cause he's so shiny. I'd rather him be a little more subdued, but I got it at Goodwill for $3. This is for me, got it at Goodwill and it's a Bath and Body Works candle. I love Bath and Body Works. This is the Rose Water and Ivy. It smells really fresh and it had $4 on it probably paid more than what I should have. I could probably get it cheaper on one of their sales, but it's never been used before. So I just went ahead and got that. That's for me, my little treat. This is another neighborhood find. This will be good for just kind of staging in my booth. So I was excited to get that. This is actually from Target. It's a threshold uh, piece that you can buy for $5. So I got it for free, so I'll put it in my booth to stage. I got this cute little rooster guy. And I had my eye on him and I never got him because I thought he was too high. And then when I went the other day, the sticker on it said $2.99. I don't remember it being that low, but then it was a yellow stickers 50% off. So I basically got him for $1.50. So I picked that up. I thought that was cute and that'll go in my booth. I got this basket slash box. This came from Goodwill and I got it for $2. Still has a tag on it, so it's never been used. I'm trying to see where it came from. It doesn't say, but anyway, I thought that would be great for Christmas time. Another free item from the neighborhood was this picture frame. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything to it or just put it in my booth like this. I don't know if I'll, I don't know. I don't know if I'll refinish it and do some kind of antique look on it. Not sure, but I thought it was pretty anyway. And it's in really good shape, so. This is another free item from the neighborhood. This is a really pretty brass. It's not brass, but it's a brass look with a black top little dish. So that will go in my booth. I found this at Goodwill. And I didn't get this one on sale, so but it was only $5, which I was kind of surprised. But it is, you can hang it on a wall. 
It's got the hooks to hang out on the wall. I'm gonna refinish this, kind of give it a makeover, but when you open it, it has the shelves and these are removable shelves and then it has the hooks on the door. So I'm gonna give it a makeover and put it in my booth, but it's in really good shape and I only paid $5 for it. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Now, a couple more things I wanna show you are things that I got from an estate sale. The first one is this cradle. It's a wooden cradle. This looks like it was handmade. It probably needs a little bit of work because it has a crack. It has a crack right here. I don't know, I might leave it. It looks like whoever made it glued it, but um, anyway, I'm definitely gonna refinish this because I don't really care for the blue, so I'm gonna refinish it, but I got it at the estate sale for $5. I thought that was pretty good. The original sticker they had on it was $34. So I went the last day and probably the last two hours, so they were ready to get rid of some stuff, and this was one of the things that I went away with. The second thing was another cradle, and I got excited and I took it to my booth before I could do the video, but I'm gonna show you a clip of it. I just think it's so pretty, and again, I got this one for $5. It had a piece of foam and like a little crib sheet in it, and it was pretty raggedy. So I actually had a piece of um, backboard that I had used for another project and I had some extra and it actually fit perfectly in that cradle. So I was able to put it in there and I have it staged in my booth. And I got it again for $5. I also forgot that I took this to my booth. I got this quilt. It is in great shape. It's an 88 by 88 inch quilt and I got it at Goodwill for $3. So I have in it in my booth as well. I think that's everything that I got this week thrifting. It's kind of a lot, but I got a lot of great stuff. So thank you so much for staying with me and seeing what all I got at the thrift store. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite thing and tell me what color should I paint that cradle? Should I go with a neutral color or should I paint it like a pink or a light green? Tell me what you think in the comments. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming by. I really do appreciate it. And I would love it if you like this sort of content, thrifts, hauls, thrift flips, then please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell button. And everybody give this video a thumbs up because it really does help me out with YouTube. If you've made it this far in the video, then leave me a flower emoji in the comments. And if you're looking for more thrift flips or thrift haul videos, then check out the box you see on the screen right now. And I'll see you next time. Bye.